Welcome to the table. I'm Kelly. And I'm Loren. And today we're going to play the newlywed game D&D &D edition to see if we know each other on the deepest level. The D&D deepest level, if you will. Okay, let's get into it. What is my favorite class? Hey, no beaking. I'm stuck. One, two, three. Oh, I was gonna put Ranger. I like the Artificer a lot, but the Ranger gets a lot of hate. I don't know, there's just something so satisfying about shooting a bow in combat. Uh, I just feel like Legolas. You have sweet decks, you have bows, you can do short swords, dual wield. Ah, so good. No, I agree, I love Rangers. What is my favorite race to play and why? One, two, three, elf. Yeah, why? Uh, because you like people with big ears? <laughs> They're hot. Okay. I'm a Legolas girly. Because they're hot. Okay. I won't apologize. Elves are hot and I like it. You don't need your paper for this one. Oh no. What face do I make when I crit? Plus <laughs> into bed. One, two, three. Yeah. The uh O. -oh. <laughs> I feel like yours is. Yeah, I'm always surprised. You're always surprised. So surprised. What is something I like to put in the backstories of all my PCs? One, two, three. Moms? <laughs> I mean, yeah, not untrue. Uh, yeah, I put lots of friends and family. Because I like having a lot of people you can mm, yeah. potentially be attached to. Yeah, having lots of NPCs in your backstory is always appreciated. Lots of moms. Many mothers. <laughs> Which one of my D&D &D characters would you go on a date with? One, two, three. Oh, I was gonna put Hewitt. Hewitt was like a cowboy. That was a good one. I think Hewitt was my least dorky PC I yeah. ever made. He was kind of cool. He had like an Aragorn thing going on, but like a cowboy Aragorn. Oh, but he went with, Alvin was like a professor's assistant, a quiet, yeah. nerdy boy. Yeah, but he had a Scottish accent. <laughs> all right, all right. What's my favorite snack to eat while we're playing D&D? One, one, two, two three. three. Cucumbers and hummus? Oh. <laughs> Very different. I mean, yeah, cucumbers and hummus are good. I like sour gummies because they're, first of all, they're quiet. Yeah, cucumbers are real loud. Sour gummies, quiet. The sugar gives you like a little sugar high, so that's mm -hmm. nice. And then the sour kind of like, woo, keeps you on your toes. Okay. Let me set the scene for you. My PC is in a romantic situation. I can either, <laughs> doesn't matter. I can either role play leaning in for the kiss or I can spill mustard on myself. Which do I go for? One, One, two, two three. three. It's the mustard. Obviously, it's the mustard. It's the mustard. I am afraid of intimacy. It's true. <laughs> Do you know which three classes I've never played? One, two, three. Paladin, monk, artificer? Uh, two out of three. I've never played a uh, warlock. What is their thing? Eldritch Blast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're the ones that have, like, the hot pact with a devil, right? A pact. Maybe not hot. Probably a little hot. If I could only play one class for the rest of my life... What do you think it would be? One, two, three, Artificer. Really? Yeah, I thought a lot about this. Although it hasn't been my favorite, it's been really fun, but it's just the sheer number of options that I think would keep me interested. So that's why I chose it. Oh, that's why I put Paladin as like a backup mm -hmm. because Paladins are so well-rounded. What is my favorite thing to do when we meet a new NPC? One, two, three, ask their name. Yeah, I do. I love to ask their name. DMs always love that when they make up an NPC on the fly. Some really unimportant passerby that you meet in the street that says, they went that way. Excuse me, uh, what's your name? Have any of my characters had a backstory that was not tragic? One, two, two three. three. No. no. What's the point of making a hero with a normal backstory? Who's going to go out adventuring if you just had a nice upbringing in a stable home? No one. Samwise Gamgee. All right, fine. The next character I make is going to have... Samwise Gamgee. <laughs> super normal upbringing and a very stable home. Yeah, that's nice sometimes. He balance. If I were ever to DM a campaign, what kind of campaign would I want to run? One, two, three. Disney? Yeah. Princesses. Disney princess campaign. I think that would be so much fun. Yeah. There's someone online who made all of the princesses as different classes. I'm down to be a princess. That's really cool. If I'm running a game and I need to improvise an NPC at the last minute, what type of personality do they have? One, two, three. A weenie. <laughs> all of my NPCs that I go uh, up with at the last minutes are 
old men, but also weenies. You're d- yeah. Kelly defaults to playing weenies. <laughs> you do a good weenie voice. Thank you. If I could vacation somewhere on the Sword Coast, where would I go? Oh, like you as Loren or you as a D&D Me fantasy as. character? Me as Okay. a player. So not somewhere too dangerous because you're a person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Waterdeep? Yeah, or the whale bones. Mm. You like London, you're a city, you're a city person. Yeah, I'm a city pigeon. But also the whale bones because I like an island getaway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do I enjoy getting whomped by my players? One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, he loves a good whomping. He loves to be on the business end of a whomping. <laughs> I don't know if I play like that. I like to have a slightly adversarial relationship with my players. Then when they come up with a really creative solution and they absolutely destroy me, I just feel so proud inside. And I think it's very fun. What is my favorite weapon to use in combat? One, two, three. A longbow? Yeah, that's good. I like being far away. <laughs> yeah, Loren likes to be 800 <laughs> feet outside of the combat. <laughs> Not that far. I just, I, yeah, I like being far away. I like getting to like snipe people. It's really fun. Yeah. I don't want a short bow. Eight yeah. inch big. Whoa, that's good pipe. If you had to describe my DM style as an ice cream flavor, what would it be? God, so abstract. One, two, three. Spumoni. Oh, why? Because it's like a little bit of everything. Chocolate, vanilla, pistachio. The pistachio kind of comes out of left field mm-hmm. a little bit. And I think that's kind of how you do yeah, It's like you do what people like. That's the vanilla and the chocolate. And then also the pistachio is a little like, oh, what about what about this? Okay. I accept. Also, Thank I you. think you used to like money ice cream. I think I did, yeah. 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 Uh, explain yourself. Chili chocolate. Similarly, uh, chocolate, you know, a lot of people seem to like chocolate. I like to do mostly what my players like, but then I like to make my combats very spicy uh, because I like there to be a lot of stakes, so I make them very difficult. That's true. And they usually get out of there, usually. That's funny you describe it that way, because I don't think you, as a person, like chili chocolate. I don't like yeah. chili chocolate. I don't like spicy chocolate. I like spicy things, and I like chocolate. Separately. I don't like them together. It has no place together. Good. How many sets of dice do I have? Uh, oh, I think I heard multiple numbers being written. Is it over 10? Oh my god. You're going to find out. One, two, three. Seven? Oh my, 17? Yeah. 17 sets of dice? I'm a little dice goblin. Wow. Lauren is also very particular in the dice sets that she picks up. She's not a bulk buyer uh, of many dice. It's not quantity. One uh, set at a time, baby. Yeah, so I think we do, in fact, know each other on the D&D piss level. I wouldn't. <laughs> Put it that way. If you want to womp your DM the way that I like to be womped, then you can check out this video here for an interesting blink spell combination that should surely surprise them. And hey, I appreciate you. I appreciate you too.